Many of us look to antibacterial products to kill germs and keep our families safe, but some of those choices could do more harm than good. The FDA has been looking into the antibacterial chemical triclosan for years now, and they say they're nearing a decision on whether or not this is safe for use. Yeah, Heidi Hatch with more tonight on whether or not they're justified in having fears associated with this product. Heidi? Well, Mark and Shana, there are a lot of questions, but triclosan we know for sure is in a lot of products. It's been scrutinized for years. Some say messing with our hormones. Other people say it causes cancer. But when you look at the products, one thing I do know for sure, we're using all of it in our daily lives. Triclosan is the antibacterial agent in soaps that line store shelves. What you may not know is this. It's in deodorants, body wash, socks, toys, and laundry soap, even toothpaste. A new study came out that's pretty alarming. It showed that it decreased heart function by 25 percent. It also decreased muscle function by 18 percent. Joshua Redd, a chiropractic physician, is one of a growing number of doctors and activists concerned about what triclosan does to the body. The European Union banned it years ago. It causes a slew of different problems throughout the endocrine system, too, causing early onset puberty. It's also causing problems with testosterone and estrogen. Uh, causing problems with the pre reproductive system. As long as there was. Nixon was president when the FDA started reviewing the chemical. Well, why did the FDA approve this to begin with? Well, they didn't. In 1972, Congress asked the FDA to look into triclosan. Six years later, the FDA published its first tentative guidelines saying it is not generally recognized as safe and effective. Flash forward 40 years and studies show that triclosan is no better than old fashioned soap and water but could be creating antibiotic resistant germs. Study after study shows there is cause for concern, but there is one significant problem. Most have been done on animals, not humans. In animal models, the dose of uh, compounds uh, tested is often 100 to 1,000 fold higher than what we get exposed to. Uh, even on a day-to-day -day basis. Dr. Deb Abraham, a thyroid cancer specialist at the University of Utah, is waiting for a clear ruling from the FDA. Until then, he tells his patients this. If they're not sure, if they are concerned, the best thing is to buy plain soap. I want to show you what to look for at home if you want to see if your products have triclosan in it. Here's a bottle of soap, and what you do is you look on the back for the active ingredient. It's listed at the top. This one is at 46%, which is fairly high. Same thing for your deodorants, your toothpaste. But I noticed when I was shopping for running socks this week, it's in there too. If it says antimicrobial, look for the word microban. That'll be in all of your clothing products and also toys. So it's just about everywhere. The FDA says they hope to make a ruling in the next few months. And until then, you know that you can check out your products and get rid of them if you don't want them in your home. Mark and Shauna. Use soap and water. <laughs> soap and water, the basics, the old-fashioned way. All right, Heidi. Thanks.